Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. The vehicle is in the right lane. They may have gone south and that the female half in the vehicle was crying. Dispatch received a call of a domestic violence situation between a man and a woman in a vehicle that was heading eastbound on Desert Inn. Upon dispatch receiving the plate number, the vehicle became at, came back stolen, 87 Camry. So we're heading in the area to ATL for that vehicle. She's giving us updates right now. So right now she has the air unit en route and it's about a 10 minute time lapse. There it is right there, there it is, go, sweet. Control 3DP24, we're behind that vehicle. We're gonna take it down right now. He's going. He's going. He's, he's, he's taking off. 14 being moved to uh, northbound Pecos at Flamingo. What's your name? 21. He is calling on train eastbound. I'm in pursuit. Confirming it's refusing to stop. Speeds are 60 miles an hour. Occupied two times. 724 monitoring. 724. 3 24 northbound on Monte Verde. Westbound La Paloma. Passenger reaching for the door. She's reaching for the door. Hey, passengers bailing out the vehicle. All right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let All right, in, female me... suspects out on Paloma. We're now northbound on he's Wayne. Reaching, he's reaching. He's, he's reaching. reaching for something in the vehicle. The city is northbound. Uh, he's down there. The, uh, coming up on uh, Sand Hill. OK. He's calling the parking lot there. I can't get out the car. Stop him, man. Uh, ball of Sand Hill on the guy. Uh, Uh, traffic is moderate. Coming going to apartment complex. He's going to the apartment complex. Okay. He's going to be bailing. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. He's going to bail. Okay. Get him, bro. Get on the ground. 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 I am. I am. I am. I am not resistant. Okay, taking him in touch. You just advise the exact location when you can. Ah. Advise the exact location. He's in Okay, copy. Was there a unit that was uh, available to uh, ATF? Oh, you got a crackpot, huh? That's nice. Y'all know you're not running because you have a crackpot. Right get up, get up, get up. Ow! Get up! Let me get to my Stand up. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Spread your legs. Why did you run, man? What was the reason for running like that? Because me and my girl were fighting. What about that car being sold? Yeah, it is. Why'd you throw your girlfriend out the ride, man? Why? Why'd you throw her out the ride? Because she didn't know it was stolen. I just picked her up, and I wanted to get her out of it because she had nothing to do with it. So you, so you want to get her out of it, so you just open up the door and just toss her out in the middle of traffic? You know how many times she rolled on the asphalt? No. Well, that was really nice how you threw your girlfriend out that yeah. car right there, man. That was foul, actually. Yeah. I can't believe she was actually rolling on the street. You kept on rolling as you just drove off. What's up with that? I wanted to get out of She didn't know nothing about it. I didn't see you push the bar. I looked like she was in it with you. I didn't see her get pushed. I saw her she jump out. She kept yelling at me for the stop and stuff. And I told her I'll slow up, and I, I slowed up, and I pushed her out. How long ago did you steal the vehicle? It was a few days ago. How'd you steal it? The keys. Where'd you get the keys from? Huh? From a friend of mine. OK, but 
Your friend gave you the keys and gave and gave you the keys to this vehicle. Where did he get the keys from? I don't think they're the right keys for this vehicle. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you guys know about the mid ages car. About the what? Mid ages car. One key, one key fits all. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so you've been driving around in this vehicle for how many days? A couple. A couple days. Yeah. Okay. Did you gas it up? Yeah, I put some gas in it. Put some gas in it. All right. Okay. What's your name? Kim. Kim. Okay, Kim. I'm Sergeant Steve Kendall with Hi. Metro Police. Give me kind of a rundown of what happened today. Well, I was over with my baby and stuff, and he left the house that we Where were at? sleeping at over at a friend's house okay. on uh, Sand Hill. <laughs> and he came by. Then I asked him where he got the car from, and he said a friend loaned it to him, and he had the keys to it, so I didn't think anything of it. So I got the car with him, and then we started fighting. Did he push you out of the car? No, I had to jump out. I didn't want to go through all that. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm getting <laughs> conflicting stories on that. And I know you probably want to, you know, make sure that he doesn't get hammered on anything, you know, more, and you're looking out for him. But you need to help us out on that. I mean, he's already admitted that he's pushed you out. I mean, so as far as you trying to help him out that way, it's not going to work. Not going to work, okay? So, one, don't, don't lie to me. Okay. Okay, just tell me the straight story. <laughs> because you lying to me. We got out around that corner and he pushed me out. Why did he push you out the car? I don't know. Was he trying to help you? Or did he was what was he doing? What did he say? I don't know. He just said, get out of the car, bitch. <laughs> That's all he said. <laughs> I want you to just relax a little bit. <laughs> you got any concerns or worries? <clears throat> Let me know. What what do you think's happening here? Do you think you're gonna go to jail? I don't know. Okay. I just want to go home with my baby. As long as you're telling me the truth, <laughs> yeah. you don't lie to me. That's the only thing I lied about. Is we're gonna, we're gonna, out the car. we're gonna make sure you get to the, where your, where your baby's at. Okay. So you can take care. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a boy. It's a boy. Yeah. So we want to make sure you get over and take care of him. Okay. All right. Right now, the suspect's being turned over to uh, the detectives. Uh, he has about knowledge of three or four other vehicles that are stolen. Um, that have been dropped off around the, La the Las Vegas Valley. We actually got another uh, recovered stolen vehicle here in the parking lot. So he's gonna do a trip with the detectives right now, uh, see if his information pans out, and from there he'll be going to jail. Another bad guy off the streets, and uh, job well done. It's great being a police officer in Jacksonville. We've got our high crime areas, we've got lower crime areas. You know, you got a lot of action, you've got a lot of uh, auto thefts, burglaries, robberies to individuals, robberies to businesses, a lot of drug activity. It's a good place to ride. And uh, so you're always active. November 156, 1050 at 34th and Myrtle. We got a guy running on us for some reason. 156, I got a white, small, compact car. Uh, Ran a couple stop signs. He's not stopping for me up here at 34th and Moncrief. About to turn north on Moncrief. If you got a couple units close. Lane 1033, November 156. November. Yeah, this guy ran a couple. Ran a couple stop signs on us. November 156. He's coming up on Palm Terrace looking like he's, uh, okay, he's going to continue north on Moncrief. Yeah, he's not stopping. He's ran a couple stop signs on us. So he keeps pointing out the window here and uh, probably going to go back in this neighborhood and get a lot of stolen cars dumped. 34, what's your speed, Travis? November 156, westbound of 45th. We got a unit behind us here. He's looking to bail. Be at 44th. She's pulling into a driveway. Let me see your hands! Let me see your hands! Get on the ground! 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 Cross your legs! Cross your legs! Watch the car! Cross your legs!
1054, you know it's 1033. What you driving like that for? I was just trying to get in the house, get the car to the house. Can I take a you see my license sirens? What are you driving like that for? I was just trying to bring the car home. Well, why aren't you stopping? I had to use the restroom. <clears throat> You gonna give me a better excuse than that or what? Is your license bad? You got something yeah, in the car? Is, it, no, my license is bad. the car stolen? I mean, no, what's no, the deal? No, that's my daughter. I stay right there. That's my daughter's car. It's your daughter's car? Yes. How bad your license? I guess they're suspended. I ain't for sure. You guess they're suspended? Yeah, I ain't for sure. Nothing illegal in that vehicle, right, sure. sir? No, I ain't got nothing. No. Okay, well, we're gonna take a look. How bad is your license? Uh, they're suspended. Can I use the restroom? HQ Mike, 6777, you count for 35. Well, he just got a small baggie of uh, marijuana and a couple of roaches, and uh, he says life is bad, and that, that's all we found in the car. And he said the the cars are his daughter, so I don't know I don't know why else he would run. You know anything about the you know, you know anything about the warrant off the arrest? Child support warrant. Okay. He had that little baggie of weed, a couple of roaches he was smoking. Uh, he's got a warrant for child support, and his license is, I mean, he's only got one one failure to pay on his license. So it's all misdemeanors. Right. Okay. He's going to jail for uh, felony fleeing and eluding? Yeah. Would have been misdemeanors. Hey, buddy. Have you had it? You been smoking the marijuana that you had in there? Mm hmm. How much have you had to smoke? Just a bag. Just, well, you had one bag left in there. I saw a couple roaches in there. You just smoked those? I saw a lot Just let my wife know I'm out here. If y'all don't mind, I mean. Yeah, is she inside? Yes. All right, hang tight. What is going on? Did, uh, did, he, know he, did he know that he had a warrant? I'm not for sure now on that part. Did, I mean, he has, a, he has a, uh, a writ for child support. Were you aware of that? It should be because we married and these are our kids and they're grown. Does he have any hmm. other kids? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. I don't know. I'll no, find I, out. Does he ever own your child support in the past? Ooh. Because uh -huh. he, he, no. No. Um, have you ever known him to smoke any marijuana? Because he had some in the car. He does it from time to time or is... smokes weed? Well, um, back to this child support. Do you have the keys to the car? Uh-uh, here they go, right here. Oh, you got them already? Okay. You want me to get for the car? You want me to release the car to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh let me. What? Oh, the officer said you asking that is in my driveway in my car. Why you run? I, was, I knew uh, my license was suspended. So I was just trying to get the car home to my daughter because I knew she had to go to work. She just had a baby and all. So I knew it was hard on my wife. So I was just trying to get the car home. That's why I kept waving my arm out there wanting to let them know I saw them and I was going to stop, you know. So you knew they were behind you, but you, you weren't going to stop till you got here. Right, that's why I come on my house with light, too. That just makes things worse, man. We could still get the, the car home to your to your daughter, but, I mean, you just had misdemeanors, and now you got a felony on you. Huh? So what's going to happen is you're going to go to jail for a felony fleeing, attempting to elude, and a couple misdemeanors in the warrant, okay? Next time the police stop you, or attempt to stop you, stop. Usually we, uh, people run from us and if the car's using don't a- don't shoot them. Well, no, we don't shoot them. Oh, I but don't shoot them. <laughs> no, ma'am. We don't shoot them, but I mean, he got out and, and gave up, but uh, you know, usually we seize the cars, you know, so that's a family car y'all got here. He could have got it seized tonight. Cause it could have been worse. You really, you could have been knocking on that door to ask me to identify a body. So see, that's how I look at things. It could have been work, because he could have yeah. hit somebody, or somebody could have hit him uh, by he putting his hands out the window. Y'all could have thought it was a gun, and then opened fire. So you could have been knocking on that door asking me to come identify a body. So see, I thank God. Yeah. You're right, everything happens for a reason, so. And God does everything. Hopefully he'll learn from this one. Yes, sir. Right now, officers are um, getting ready to uh, take flight to eradicate some marijuana patches, uh, which we had prior information. Uh, right now, 
part of our uh, crew members will be heading out to our west side to uh, do an observation on a marijuana patch that was reported uh, to us by one of the pilots. Another crew will be heading out to the east side uh, in our uh, cane fields, which uh, uh, we received another report of some marijuana patches uh, being grown in that area. So what we'll do is we'll land out here on the road and they can walk into this. I'm like, you want to escort them in or what? Yeah, I can escort them in. Okay. But officers need to be very careful when they are locating these patches uh, for safety reasons so nobody gets hurt out there. The more they plant, the more they're trying to protect their crop. Their crop is money to them. Uh, although it's illegal, it is money to them. And the more they play the game, the more we'll play it. So what our second bird's gonna do at this time, they're gonna land and deploy the ropes. Uh, they'll put an officer on the end of the rope and we'll put the officer in to eradicate this uh, marijuana plant. Shouldn't be much too further. You can kind of smell it already, and here they are. They usually use it in here because of the cane is uh, drip irrigated. They don't have to come in here and water it. What they do is they illegally tap into the water line here so they can water their plants. Each water line is, uh, each row has a water line for the cane, and the people will steal the water from a local sugar company here. Uh, to water their plants. So very shortly you'll see how, the, how we bring the men into the cane field uh, to eradicate these. Uh, a lot of times it is not as easy as we did to walk in. It's very hard to walk into it. So what do we call a stable line? They'll be hanging below the helicopter and the, the pilots who are very excellent pilots will put them directly on the patch very safely. Uh, they'll come in, either pull them or cut them and they'll be uh, extricated the same way to a stable line. When he's done with this little operation here, uh, he'll give a thumbs up or a ready, ready sign to our helicopter. Our pilot will do the same thing and bring in the stable line with the weight and the officer will be extricated out of here. This is a, this is a everyday occurrence or at least once a, uh, one week a month for every officer here. Uh, we will assist the whole state. We'll go to each island and assist with the eradication. Uh, eradication problem is not only here on Maui, it's on all islands within our state. We have a very bad uh, cannabis problem here. Uh, you know what, Don? I got some more right down below me, too. Okay, where at from where they are? Uh, let me just count them. One, two. Okay, from where are you picking the guys up? There's two small structure cottages separated by a road. Uh, just move forward to that section and I'll guide you in. Here we are in Pihi. It's on the east side of the island. Just uh, Malta, towards the mountain of us. We have an, an officer just being pulled out of a patch now. Uh, it was a smaller patch, maybe between 10 to 20 plants in 10 different locations. The dangerous part about it was right next to a couple of houses. As far as we walked in, I walked in, I passed two of them. We passed out uh, some out in the open, but right here is the trail marker. For some of these guys, they use the old style, and this is a marker for the trail, okay? Uh, one looks like a phone line, and one looks like some kind of electrical cord. Uh, I'm pretty sure you follow this along the line, you will come up to the rest of these uh, plants that our Chapel One uh, officers are working right now as we speak. As you can see, they know that we fly this Operation Wipeout, so as best possible, they try to hide it. They put all their foliage around it. But you can see how lush green it is from this uh, earlier plant that I showed you right here. This is really hurting this individual. This particular patch with this thick bud is really, really hurting this individual. This is a very, very profitable, profitable little plant right here. This is probably a water line here that he set up. Just coinc coincidentally, the water line goes right past one of our matured 
marijuana plants. Right in between, there's one here and there's one right here. This is some nice plants. As you can see, it's very budded out and we're really hurting this guy's operation, taking these plants away from him. So right here, just right off of the water, we go one, two, three, four, right in a row. And Chapel One workers are pulling the rest that was up in the hill. A lot of this is the Maui Waui that they talk about. There's red fibers and a thick bud there, yeah? It's very sticky to the touch. There's a lot of resin on it. And this is right here on Maui, famous known, Maui Waui. Uh, this is day one, and this is the, the end of day one. It's a very successful day. More successful being because everybody's going home safe. And in the process, we ruined some people's uh, day today, and maybe the rest of the year. Okay, we'll still send a code three.